The Kingswood Prologue, 1941, 50th Anniversary Year, originally recited by S. A. Karim. Your Excellency, let me haste to say our loyal Kingswood welcomes you today. You and your lady, whose familiar grace brightens and charms this unfamiliar place. We thank you both. A prize giving, it is said, is like, to quote our education head, a company director's meeting, where credits and debits balanced to a hair resolve themselves to no less happy ends than to distribute lucky dividends. But here is an audit, sir, of 50 years of gains and losses, changing hopes and fears, of odd successes and of threatened harms, hard times, the strife of tongues and war's alarms. Still stalks the impious monster, war, in pride, rashly self-confident over regions wide. The Balkana, Libya and Minoan Crete, Cyprus and Russia, where the giants meet, over the broad Atlantic, where the deep swarms with the hidden death that slyly creep, though fearful yet to rouse to enmity the arsenal of free democracy. On outraged sanctuaries, with angry frown and burning eyes, the Syrian skies look down. But freedom lives. Though baffled and betrayed, though vanquished oft, she proudly lifts her head. Ages shall sing in songs of war and peace, the grandeur that was Rome, the glory that is Greece and Britain. In the van of freedom's fight, the hope of nations in their darkest night, ignored as outworn, put upon the shelf, by her own courage, Britain saves herself. The world by her own example, our citadel, indomitable, indestructible. Hence, in fixed faith, we wait to see at last the brave new world which shall retrieve the past, kindle again the sleeping beacon's heights, the lamps of Europe, and the harbour lights. Meanwhile, we study here as best we can our labour problems and the Indian ban, restored Minaria's ripening fields of grain, Parakrama's lost sea now found again. The spate of school books and the mother tongue, the millions spent to educate the young, our carnivals that each a victory scores, and what may happen when our lion roars. For us, dear memories of smiles and tears, which hallow these past years, these fifty years.